Hi guys. Hey everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Figure It Out with, with Gabby and Khalil. Gabby and Khalil. Yeah, I, yeah. Said, I said your name. I'm no, so sorry. that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode. Uh, we hope you're having such a great day mm -hmm. so far. Uh, we are having a great day so far. Yeah, um, so far so good. Our matchy dark blue shirts. And is this blue? I think this is black or gray, blackish gray. My animal cross, my animal crossing t shirt. Yeah, hey. that's why it's a great day. Okay, <laughs> we hope uh, everyone's uh, doing well and is safe during these tough times. So, since we are having a good day, let's talk about what something... a good relationship is. Yeah, <laughs> what is the opposite of a good relationship? A relationship, a relationship, <laughs> no, a toxic relationship. Yes. So, so, this episode will be all about toxic relationships. Oh god, I hate, I hate toxic people. <sighs> oh, what, the, for you, define toxicity? Because there are a lot of definitions eh, when it comes to being toxic. It's, the, it's a different definition per person, per relationship. But generally, it's a person or a relationship that... It's not healthy. That, ano, parang... That, parang, in a, parang walang improvement. Parang, rather than you guys grow, you're pulling each other down. For me, that's like a huge part of being a toxic, of having a toxic relationship. Yeah. And For, you're a, I feel like crab mentality, yan, toxic yan. Um, sinasakal mo yung tao, that's being toxic. A lot talaga of factors of having a, rela mm -hmm. a toxic relationship. Or parang you could, like, boil it down to a relationship or a person that is irrational. Yes. That um, kind of hindi alam yung kung ano yung tama sa mali. Kung baga blurry sa kanya and, yung right and wrong. And a person who hates to see you grow. Yeah. That is toxic. Na yeah. parang forget you are stuck here then you would want another person to be stuck there with you. Hmm. That is toxic. Okay, le let's talk about toxic relationships na. Okay, not the person. Uh, not the person. Okay. Ako for me, the first red flag in a relationship, and you could tell that it's a toxic relationship, mm -hmm. if there is a sense of control between one person to another. Okay. If merong, like, sinusubukan i-control yung emotions mo, sinusubukan. Kumbaga, hindi ina-acknowledge kung ano yung naramdaman mo, tapos imposing all these, you know, mm -hmm. whatever this person believes in, yeah. kahit na mali. Yeah. Kumbaga, closed-minded na... but nakatingin ka sa akin? Huh? <laughs> Siyempre, kausap kita eh. <laughs> yung closed-minded na tao na ayaw, ayaw magpatalo at ayaw umintindi. Mm. For me, that's the first red flag. Okay, so how have we gotten there? No. We're not like a squeaky clean oh, no, relationship. We have our bad days. We have our fights. And for me, uh, we would at times be carried away with our emotions that we somehow kind of, you know, for brief moments Parang become toxic to each other. We go near that yeah. kind of line. For brief moments, we become toxic to each other, but then, buti na lang. We call out each other also. Na whoops. We're aware and we mm. have a solid foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I we agree. go, we go back when the devil is getting in the way. You know, we kind of pause. We pause and we, you uh, know, we really look back at the purpose of the relationship. Yeah. That's, I think, for us, the yeah. most beautiful, you know, dynamic in our relationship. Mm -hmm. Na hindi tayo nagpapatalo mm. sa mga masamang nangyayari Our sa mundo. Our love is greater than that evilness. No! <laughs> hindi, pero seryoso. I get what you mean. Na sometimes when we fight and we get carried away um, with our emotions, a ako, I'm aware of that. Sometimes I tend to impose things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, on being unaware, na parang, oh, I'm too much na pala with my opinions and imposing stuff. And then Kali would tell me na, whoops, this is me not allowing you to control me. You you sometimes tell me that. Parang ako, I'm being reminded na, ay, yes, 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 I'm sorry. O nga pala. 
parang it's a matter of you guys knowing each other when to call out each other and you have to accept when you're being called out mm-hmm. parang it's okay that you are being called out in a relationship it's better yeah and it it sends a signal na you guys aren't toxic yeah because you you deal with it you deal with it you, you sit down with it you Figure, figure it, it out. out. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. So that's like that's what I like and I love about a relationship yeah. is that we're not afraid to sit down and deal with our shit. Yeah. That and that's that's us. Pero going back to like toxic relationships. Mm-hmm. We kinda know because we experienced it. Exactly. So yeah. okay, let's start with you. What is yung level of toxicity? Like what kind of have I experienced? Yeah, before? and what kind of toxicness? May ganong bang world word? Toxicity. Toxicity. <laughs> Toxicness. <laughs> Toxicness. What kind of a toxic relationship did you have? Um, for me, the level of toxicity that I I know that experienced. I experienced in my past relationships, I was never enough. Okay, that yeah. that was what you felt. Yeah, I was never relation. enough because there were, you know, instances, you know, I, I simply put, I got heartbroken mm-hmm. plenty of times because there were other guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that, that level of toxicity. What was the result? Like what? So because of that, what happened? I experienced the worst years of my life. Like I remember it super super vividly it's it's a it's a phase of my life that i forget about talaga eh, that i, I know. would want to forget i know <laughs> and delete from my life pero mm-hmm. it was a phase of my life na talagang ano helpless yeah. i felt helpless i felt you know parang i felt like my feelings were weren't of value to yeah. anyone and it's all because of toxicity yeah right it's, it's so bad talaga. Yeah, it's it's because the relationship isn't stable enough and it you isn't, chose to hold on to it pa din kahit yeah. na you know it's so toxic yeah. already. It wasn't stable enough, it wasn't um healthy enough. Mm-hmm. That w- that's why both sides naman yun eh. That's why Oo. people in the relationship allowed that whole situation to happen. Yes. Because was a toxic relationship. Yeah. It was uh, all about personal feelings. Mm-mm. It Puro was all me, about me, me. personal desires. Yeah. It was. It wasn't about you know having to really value the relationship. Mm-mm. Yeah, I get you as a whole. I get and like improving and you know being smart about the relationship. It was just all butterflies at first, and then hanggang yeah. dun lang pala. Mm. Hanggang dun lang Uh-oh. tapos wala na. Yeah. Diba? Nagkasakitan na. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and you allowed when, it to happen. Yeah, I allowed it to happen. And when you're on that road, kumbaga tapos nilaban mo pa rin, pero you you're not equipped. Back and forth na siya na. Ano. And you're gonna it's gonna take a toll in your life. Yeah, back and forth na siya You're na, gonna damage toxicity. yourself. So yeah. toxicity can lead to damaging yourself. Yeah. And we we are fully aware of that because we know we've been through it. Mm-hmm. Like in my case, during my past relationship, at first, it was all butterflies, rainbows, you know, all the good stuff. But then, pagkalung mabas na yung differences ninyo, and then nagkasakita na, it tapos magiging toxic na. Like, like you, I was brokenhearted because of other girls. I was put in that place, and so I became super celosa. That was my toxic trait before. Na I was so jealous of everybody because I'm coming from a place wherein I was cheated on. So I felt like lahat kalaban ko. Kalaban ko sa oras, kalaban ko sa attention. I felt like I wasn't good enough, like exactly what you were feeling. And so I allowed it all to manifest in me, which led to being jealous, to jealousy. And then one problem led to another. Hanggat sa naging toxic na hanggat sa. So you became that person na sino yung kausap mo sino yes, kasama mo ano oras ka umuwi I became saan that. ka pupunta I became saan ka ano sino ka text mo uh-uh. and I would if I had the chance to check his phone I would do it and mm-hmm. I would often see like oh shit sana hindi ko na chinek parang I became that which is very okay it 
it was partly his fault why I was like that. But you know, it's still me. Eh. Mm-hmm. It's how I manage my emotions, and I mm-hmm. didn't handle. You allowed it. yourself to be toxic. I allowed myself to be toxic, and I'm pretty much aware of that. And he was toxic too. So pag pinagsama mo yung dalawa, talagang babagsak, de ba? And magkakasakitan, and hindi lang yun, magkakagalitan, and yeah. things. Lalim. Yeah, and that's a really, really. You deep, can ano? say things to your ex or to he- to whoever that person is. You know things that you didn't mean, but you had to say it because you guys are so toxic already. You wanted to express talaga yeah. na galit na galit ako sa'yo. Parang ganun. So that is a like a serious example of having a toxic relationship and I hated that phase. But then, I learned a lot from it and that's why to, to fast forward, we both agreed not to have any of those anymore. Uh, going back 2017, I remember you telling me na, oh, we have to be smart about this relationship because this kind of relationship, we want it to last. Mm-hmm. So let's be smart about it. Let's not waste it because 2017, pa lang, we knew we had a, a nice connection, a beautiful connection. So we really didn't want to waste it by being toxic. So, yun nga, like Gab's example, like, like what are the red flags? Like, anong, anong pwedeng gawin para hindi maging toxic yung relationship mo? Like, ako kasi for example, Sometimes, nagiging ganun, like one partner is taking control of another, mm-hmm. is being nosy, is you know all or, all in his his or her partner's ano life, mm-hmm. trying to control, trying to ano. Mm-hmm. So, like what Gab said kanina, that was an example of a toxic relationship, mm-hmm. but it could be in any form. Eh. Oh, oh, naman. Yeah. So. How could how like how could we tell if it's becoming toxic? If it's becoming too toxic, or if your relationship is still in a healthy state. Ako, for one, kaya some relationships tend to be ano one person trying to control the other, mm-hmm. one person being too nosy, mm-hmm. is because it was either there was no respect to begin with at yes. all from the get go, yeah. or nawala yung respeto. Uh-huh. Dun na nag simula. Because when you don't respect one another, then you don't trust one another. Mm-hmm. And you don't... And what's the point of the relationship if there's, if there's no, no trust? trust? Kaya ako, I would always tell Gab, lalo na nung nagsisimula pa lang kami, mm-hmm. we became very intentional of, hey, I'll be clear, I see the potential in this relationship. Yeah. Kung baga ganung klaseng... Usap. Usap. Ganung mm-hmm. klaseng view. Na talagang hindi, May parang we put it in our minds. Like mindset agad. Yeah, mindset na, talaga. Hindi siya chummy-chummy na. No, no, ano, no. I'm, gonna, we, I'm gonna marry you. I'm gonna uh, get it to you. Or like, oh, you're so cute. I love this really. Yeah. No, it's not like that. Talagang we sat down and... We had, of course, we had... We had like those. That, pero, <laughs> pero when it's, ano na, you know, when it's time to define the relationship, mm-hmm. the DTR. <laughs> yeah, yung, yung, pag nung dinefine na namin at pinag-usapan namin, we sat down and we said, hey, okay, we both see the potential where this is headed. Mm-hmm. We have a strong connection, and this could be something. Yeah. Will we waste this, yeah. or will we, from now palang, be smart about it? Be smart it. about it and be aware that, you know, the both of us are in this because it's purposeful. Mm-mm. So, again, it starts there. I know pa ulit ulit sa lahat ng podcast I always say it, but it starts there. Like a healthy relationship starts there. Now from the get go hindi nyo talaga papayagan sa utak nyo na maging toxic kayo. Tama. You like, like, no matter what. You set it na talaga na parang there is no room for toxicity here. And it's it's being completely honest. Yeah. I, I feel, feel like, like I feel like another um, possible factor of a relationship being toxic is when you don't communicate your feelings. Like for True. example, um, hindi mo na pala gusto yung ginagawa ng partner mo. And then you would just keep it to yourself just because you don't want to argue or you don't want to be open about it or you're scared to let your partner know. I feel like, okay, at first, siguro hindi siya magiging toxic, but if it piles up and if you, if, if, kikim kimin mo siya lahat sa loob mo, then you're gonna 
blow up, then every time you fight, babalikan babalikan mo yung feelings na yon. It's gonna be toxic, cause everything stuck in the that everything that should be in the past will always um appear in your current um conversations, in mm. your current arguments. Na parang lagi mong nahalungkat yung dati, dati yung issues, dati mong feelings sa kanya, kasi nagpatong patong na. And I feel like if Hindi you guys yes, if if you do not settle your problems. Um, right there and then, it's gonna end up toxic. Because hindi mo nare nakikilala kung paano yung partner mo, eh. how how your partner handles these emotions, de ba? So it's gonna be toxic. So yeah, communication is important. If not, it will lead to toxic relationships. I think that's one of the most important things that we really pointed out when we we when we started becoming objective in our relationship. Now yeah. we ha- we have to communicate. Yeah. Like hindi ta- hindi natin pwedeng itago yung feelings natin because once na umabot tayo sa point na we react differently na dahil may tinatago kang mga emotions, may tinatago kang mga thoughts Mm-mm. at ayaw mong aminin, ayaw mong sabihin, ayaw mong maging honest. And you start acting differently. You start making decisions differently. Nagsisimula yung ano the process of being toxic. Yeah, yeah, so, I agree. So, f- from the get-go, sabi ko kay Gab nun, we have to be like, crystal clear with each other because sayang. Mm-mm. I remember always going back to that and parang, hindi dahil ano eh, hindi dahil, you know. Hindi dahil nagpapakaromantic oh, ka. Hindi dahil nagpapakaromantic tayo, pero we potentially have a partnership that we could cherish yeah. forever. Yeah. And you're gonna waste it. Yeah, and just then you're gonna waste it because of ano? being toxic. Because mm-hmm. you satisfy yourself. Because, de ba may ganon na eh. minsan yeah. pagiging toxic ka parang you satisfy yourself na ah mm-hmm. uh, mas lamang ako sa you or whatsoever, yeah. de ba? Ang pangit. Na, if you're not a partner anymore, like you're not in the relationship because you're a partner to your significant other then wala na. If mm. it's for your own pleasure, for your own good, kung paloob na siya, hindi na siya palabas, Balabas. then there's a, there's a problem na. And I think if, if you're like, you're at that phase Mm-mm. na you're questioning, Mm-mm. you have to communicate it because it's unfair. Yeah. It's unfair if one has applied the mindset of having a healthy relationship pero the other is not on board pala. Yeah. Because of, I don't know, other interests or yeah. other, you know, hindi pa siya ready yeah. or hindi pa siya ready mag-commit. Eh, ba't pa kayo naging partners? Kung yeah. Ano, eh? Hindi na muna. Ibig sabihin, wag na muna. No, na muna. Yeah. That, that should be, you know, kasi unfair. Kung pinatagal, di ba? Then sayang. And we both had that face na pa-question, that's for another episode. Uh, pero na pa-question kami na, is it worth it? Yeah. Are we gonna push through with yeah. it? Is it worth push the time? It? Mm-hmm. Because of what we have shared mm-hmm. during that time, we know its value and we know, uh, you know, how much it matters. And even though we can talk about it like this candidly in front of you guys, it's because we also went through it actually. Yeah. We also went through the point na na question na namin mm-hmm. na is this relationship, is this partnership worth it? Yeah, but then we we chose to figure it out. Yeah, because yeah, it's because, a whole new different episode yeah. to talk about. Pero, because it was worth it. Yeah, basically, that that whole argument and that like big fight led us to like really take a step back and see if this is a commitment that we are willing to take. Mm-hmm. And I feel like um, one more factor of having a smart relationship rather than toxic relationship is having a solid commitment to each other. Yeah, that's what the relationship talaga is is all, all about. about. So guys, kung gasgas agad yung commitment mo, hindi pa nga kayo kasal. Wag na. <laughs> yeah. Don't push it na. Mm-hmm. Or basta talagang dapat nandun yung intent. Mm-hmm. No, it's okay na like right now hindi mo kayang I guess, you know, hindi hindi ka pa ready kunyari. Pero yung intent mo is pure. is because you know that you want to commit. Yeah. You can head there. Yeah. As long as willing kang As long as the picture is ano, clear for yeah. you without anything else. Yeah. Walang hidden agenda. Pure intentions lang. Yeah. Basta yun guys. As, as, 
I hate toxic relationships. So I hope that everybody who, who are listening right now, I hope they're not in that situation. And if you are in that situation, please take a step back and try to rethink everything. Yes, because your feelings matter. matter. Your um, mental health matters. Yes, and your your worth matters. If it's starting when you feel to, like you feel like it's you're not worth it anymore. You feel like parang shocks wala na self worth ko. That's a red flag also for me. Mm-hmm. You when you feel it shouldn't like, happen. Yes, kailangan pagpasak mo na relationship buo ka as a person, right? Your worth it's it's buo. So, dapat, mas magkakaroon pa ng second layer yan. Hmm. Because... May the, icing pa. May icing on top pa. <laughs> because of your relationship, di ba? Hindi yung mababawas na isang hmm. slice. Yeah. So, that's that's what we think mm-hmm. about toxic relationships. For sure, you guys have different opinions on it. Yeah. For sure, you guys, you know, iba-iba talaga. Mm-hmm. Iba-iba talaga. Like, we... What you just heard is how we approach it yeah and how we think of it yeah for sure it won't be the same as yours and other principles other people have other principles and other values they hold on to Mm -hmm. what's important is a relationship is a partnership and you know just like any other partnership that isn't romantic kunyari a business partnership Mm -hmm. paglugi yung isa Wala na. Wala na. Bakit? Na. Oh, mag-aaway kayo. Bakit mm-hmm. partnership na eh? Bakit, bakit ano? You're bakit in it together eh, di ba? Yeah. That's why it's called a partnership. Yeah. Di sana pur ikaw na lang. Solo yeah. na lang. Solo na lang. Parang uh, accompaniment lang ako. Hindi yeah. naman pwedeng ganun. Yeah. Uh, at at least, no? Uh, that's again, how we view it. We're not trying to impose anything. anything. I mean, if you're in a toxic relationship and you are trying to save it, mm-hmm. then... Well, good for you. Paglaban mo if you yeah. think it's worth fighting for, right? Okay. Fight but, for it. Oh, fight for it, diba? But not to the extent that you're gonna damage yourself. That's yeah. a no-no. Pero sabi nga nila, kung mahal mo, mahal mo. Paglaban mo. Mm-hmm. Pero dapat mahal mo rin sarili mo. Yun. Mm-hmm. Tama. <laughs> Yun. Self-love. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, that, uh, Wraps up the uh-huh. episode. Um, again, guys, uh, just, you know, take what you need and be on your way. Yeah. That's hopefully the approach that you guys uh, do when you listen to us. We're not at all like... And we're just sharing we're our just thoughts. We're just really sharing our thoughts and our opinions and how we approach Because you guys also asked, asked about it online. Um, and we just wanted to share our experience. So we hope that we are able to help you in any way. Mm-hmm. But or maybe um, comforted you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you are experiencing any trouble with uh, your significant other, kaya mo yan. Yeah. Yeah, we're here to, s- to say that, you know, love is to be celebrated and love could, you know, do the impossible. Wow. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Keep loving. Keep spreading Spread love, the love. Guys. And that is another episode of Figure, Figure It Out. out. Alright, guys. Um, thank you all for listening and for watching. If you are on YouTube, hello guys. We are also on YouTube, guys, for those who are listening on Spotify. And for people who are on YouTube, guys, check us out on Spotify. Please do stream our podcast there. Yes, and we are also uh, producing our very own food show on youtube called, called front, front seat, seat foodies. foodies check it out if uh, you love food for sure may enjoy your front seat foodies so check us out on youtube all right thanks guys thanks guys at the end of the day don't forget to figure, figure it, it out, out. <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks for watching and listening guys bye Have you?